Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna to be doing a styling video. Um, so I thought what I'd do is I will, with each outfit, I will sit here. So I'll be like this, like a little talking head. Is that what they call them? Um, in the corner. And then I have the outfit here. And so I can kind of talk you through the outfit, outfit and then I can kind of like, yeah, talk you through it basically. Um, because then, I don't know, basically Jack's ill in bed and this is what I'm working with. <laughs> I'm trying to be like, because I think it's better. No, this is because I have to do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is move to the side. So the thing that I'm going to be styling up is this little top. I don't know why I say everything's little. Um, this is a Breton tee top, t-shirt, striped top. I feel like it's a wardrobe staple for all year round. This is a new one I just picked up. Um, and basically... I just think that they're gonna be, I've got lots of stripes coming into my wardrobe. Stripes are timeless, 100%, but I feel like they're really having a moment. Um, Breton tees are so in at the moment, and jumpers and knitwear, I'm gonna be getting lots of striped knitwear for autumn, winter. And um, so I'm gonna do a blog post as well with like my topped uh, pics from the high street. So I will link that below as well, because I think that I might push that live before this video. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's, I'll link everything featured in the description box below and put all sizing information. Um, and I'll also link if there's anything else like that you might want to see to do with Breton tees. Um, so yes, this is a top that I will be talking about and let's talk about the first outfit. So the first outfit is the one I'm wearing at the moment and I actually was just getting ready in my joggers and then put this top on and was like actually this looks really good, this is going to be my first look. Um, so literally you guys know I'm a joggers girl through and through over lockdown and then my pregnancy was in lockdown so they were the only thing that fit me. I feel like just joggers became such a staple for me and I'm not quite ready to let go of them especially going back into autumn winter um, I do love jeans don't get me wrong but there's definitely a place in my heart for joggers now um, and then I feel like the cream and the navy looks really nice together I've just got some jewelry on which I'll probably keep the same jewelry on for the whole thing so I'll link that below too um, so I just feel like some gold jewelry kind of dresses it up a bit grab a handbag, put my golden goose trainers on because I feel like they kind of add to that kind of relaxed, luxy kind of look and I'm ready to go. So outfit number two is not too dissimilar in bottoms except for I've switched to cream joggers, cream jeans. Now I would wear this with the same shoes again but I'm trying to show like different outfits even though I'm like a serial outfit repeater and kind of like only usually change like one small thing. Um, so I've got the top on obviously again, tons of gold jewelry, I just really feel like it makes an outfit. Uh, my jeans, I love these jeans, I've literally been living in them, if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen them all over the shop. Uh, I'll link below some outfit ideas actually, or oh, let me know if you want me to do cream jeans next as my like styling, that'd be fun. And I've got my sandals on, these are like two years old from ASOS so I'll link some similar, I feel like they're like the most basic sandals there are so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find some. And then a classic Chanel just to finish it off and I feel like this is the sort of outfit that like I'm a real casual dresser so this is like my fancy going for dinner meal out dinner meal dinner outfit um but also you know it'd be a nice outfit for like going shopping going for brunch going for like drinks with the girls i feel like it's kind of a multi-functional outfit and like i said you could switch to trainers if you wanted to so it could definitely be like a day to night as well if you wanted to like wear trainers like if i was going to london or something and had an event i could wear my trainers and then in the evening just switch out put some heels on put a bit of lipstick on and I'm good to go. So for this look, I've gone for a slightly smarter look with a blazer. Obviously it's not like fully smart because this is me we're talking about. So it's kind of like smart, uh, smart casual, smart casual to a T. So um, I've got this blazer on which I got from Ant Other Stories. It's so nice. It's like a linen blend, but it doesn't look like linen. And it actually doesn't crease as bad as you would expect linen. Um, so it's really nice. I really, really like this. I haven't actually had a chance to wear it as much as I would have liked to, but I feel like it's an all year round thing. Um, over summer, I've just been literally in survival mode as a mum. So I've just been like wearing the same summer dresses that are just easy to throw on and not really planning outfits. But anyway. You don't need to hear my sob story about how I can't plan an outfit. Tiniest villain. Villain? <laughs> Honestly, guys, I can't talk. Tiniest violin playing. Villain. What is wrong with me? Um, so, I've got this blazer on, obviously, um, over the top. And I've got blue jeans on. Because I do think blue jeans look really nice with navy, too. Like a kind of tonal blue look. Uh, and then I've got my 
um, their sandals on, which I adore, and they've actually found, um, so I found a dupe on Amazon for like the uh, women's flat, I think they're called Oriton, are they called Oriton? I've made that up, and it, or Orion, something like that, um, sandals, and I've also found a dupe for like this chunkier style, um, which are actually men's, uh, and they are from ASOS, and they are £14, so I'll link those below too, um, I don't know if these, these are pretty hard to get a hold of now, and unless you've got big feet like me, they are impossible to get hold of, because they only have them in size seven and a half up, so I've got size eight, so I'm lucky. All my life I thought it was unlucky until I wanted to have Hermes and Dulcet Men's. <laughs> anyway, and then, so I've got these jeans on. Obviously, I've just talked you through the outfit, blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice outfit. It's the kind of thing that I would wear again uh, if I was travelling to London because it's really comfortable for, like, meetings and stuff and I wanted to look a bit smart. Again, it's another one that you could easily take day to night. Flip the sandals off, put some heels on um, and it looks smarter. You could also tie the waist in a knot if you wanted to, um, to like add some different details and switch up. Um, also trainers would look really good with this or ankle boots as we go into autumn winter. So this outfit is like a full on navy look. Um, I've got these trousers from the, do you, you guys probably follow her, Josephine, like I'll link her Instagram below, she's like my go to, like if I don't know what to wear. I'm usually like let me just have a look at what she's worn recently because she wears really like normal outfits which I feel like on Instagram it can be hard to come by uh, she's like normal outfits not so like out there um and she just looks really cool all the time so if I'm like I don't know what to wear I'm like let me just have a look at what Josephine has worn recently and she did a collaboration uh for a collection with naked or n-a-k-d i don't know how to say it um and i literally loved everything and then it's just like a really kind of i feel like this is a look josephine would be proud of i'm not gonna lie i just feel like really laid back really casual really comfy it's kind of like so comfy and easy and it's all high street but then i just add luxury accessories and it looks like really expensive in my opinion i feel like this would be a really good outfit actually to fly in because it looks really nice and chic but these are like the comfiest trousers because they're elasticated and they're so comfortable um and then you've got slip on shoes and stuff this would be such a good flying outfit like i'm not gonna lie this is a perfect travel outfit um but also just i've been wearing this quite a lot just to go nip into town to go around just like i feel like jeans are really restrictive um after wearing joggers for so long so it's nice to have other options in trousers too then I've got my Balenciaga bag out again. I love this bag so much. Like, it definitely needs to be aired more in my wardrobe. But I literally always wear my Chanel at the moment, which is why I'm actually in the market for another one. Because I'm thinking maybe I'll sell quite a few of my other bags I don't really wear anymore and then get another Chanel bag because they're so classic. So that's what I'm thinking. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think I should get rid of loads of my bags and get another Chanel? Or do you think they are just overrated and too expensive i would love to hear thoughts um but yeah so black and navy love the combo love this outfit again so easy to wear so easy to chuck on but it looks so chic good for traveling uh, i would wear it to like lunch i'd actually wear this to dinner too um because it would look really nice with some heels another one that you could just add heels on i think i would wear trainers too but i think i'd be careful of the trainers so i feel like converse would look good i don't think i'd wear chunky trainers with this i'd wear something more like kind of something that kind of goes with the outfit rather than trying to take the attention away from the so my fifth and final look is kind of a more preppy vibe um which you guys will know that i love <laughs> i love a preppy look um i feel like i look like i own a yacht <laughs> um and i'm happy about that um so <clears throat> I just thought it looked really nice to kind of add a little bit more detail to this um, by adding a jumper just over my shoulders. I think it looks nice just hanging down to be honest but I see a lot of people do this which does look good but I just feel like I haven't got the hang of doing the knot quite right though. I feel like that looks good actually. Maybe I'm putting too much effort into the knot and that is my issue. Um, but anyway so I've got a really kind of simple kind of like transitional because I've got the jump around my shoulders, um, cream jeans and the striped top which is really nice at like neutrals converse which i just am obsessed with at the moment they're so comfortable which i think they look really good with everything though they are a nightmare if you're going to be taking shoes on and off it's literally like just a no-go 
<laughs> um, so I only ever wear them when I'm like gonna be wearing them all day because I'm like I just can't be bothered to take them on and off like so I mean the fact that I put them on sometimes for outfit videos like you should know the uh, trauma that I go through of having to put them on and off every single time <laughs> for the outfits especially if I'm wearing different jeans okay so just appreciate that for a minute um but yeah so so I little tiny violin put that away again um so I've got yeah really simple kind of casual outfit and this would look really cool with any bag and then I've got my straw bag which I just think kind of makes it a bit more kind of transition seasonal like cold summer's day outfits perfect because you still got that summery look from the bag but it's not too summery because and then you'd be cold um and also again as with all of my outfits the bag change it for a Chanel change it for any bag I don't know why I said Chanel, but that's just because that's my bag that I would change it for. And chunky sandals would look good. You could change it to like for heels um, so many different shoe options I just feel like these are all such wardrobe staples I was actually thinking of doing a video soon that's like 10 outfits with 10 items of clothing so if you guys think that you would like to see that then do let me know in the comments below because I always see those and I feel like it's a challenge <laughs> but at the moment I'm like do I have 10 items of clothes because <laughs> I've got rid of so much um, but no I definitely do um, but anyway so I would wear this outfit to go on my yacht, to go yachting, <laughs> I wish, um, just to go shopping for lunch, for brunch. I would wear this to go for dinner with Jack um, or like my friends, uh, but I'd probably just switch out the shoes. Um, I just, honestly, I'm such a casual dresser, I would wear this for anything, like, <laughs> so I'm, I'm terrible, but yeah, this is just a really great outfit as well. I would wear something like this on holiday too, if I was going somewhere that was like a bit overcast that day, um, with sandals, and also, because this is nice and loose, you could easily wear like a vest top underneath, so that if it got warm, you could take it off, um, and then it would look really cool with a vest top, with that tied around the shoulders. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would love for you to leave me a thumbs up and let me know what your favorite outfit is. Um, and if you got to the end, then we're gonna do this again. Leave me an emoji of something to do with stripes. I don't know what that could be. Is there anything to do with stripes? A striped flag maybe? Um, anyway, so thank you so much for watching and i'm definitely trying to do a video every sunday i know i missed last sunday but it's because jack had the week off work and we were just enjoying ourselves and doing things and living life and i completely forgot to do the video and i was just like it'll be fine um but yeah my mum is going to be looking after the baby once a week and so is jack's mum so that's two days a week that i can get on with work so content is coming guys um so yeah Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if there's any videos that you want to see from me, then do let me know in the description box below because I aim to please. So if you want to see a video, I would do it for you guys. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.